everyone, today I'm go Hello everyone, today I'm gonna do a video about pullback trains. Mostly the ones that you may know of. I tried to do this video like freaking three times, but I accidentally deleted it and I'm not proud of stuff I said because it was early in the morning and it was morning and I thought of like doing this video about pullback trains. Anyway, sorry if you hear clicking and see my computer on Google. First off on the list is Shining Facts Classic Loco and it's an F7. Now these engines you can get like probably in a if you're lucky in like some store that sells like a lot of pullback trains, a, a lot of pullback uh, cars, trucks, or trains, and once you sell off-brand toys, or at like a museum, like where I got this model, got this model at the Galveston Railway Museum, and it's, it like fell off. I don't really cares. Also, put my sticker. Um, the Galveston Air Museum under the engine. Anyway, these engines came in like a normal box for pullback uh, toys. Anyway, they had a Pacific Line line livery, which I think is Southern Pacific, but. By the looks of things, it doesn't look like Southern Pacific. Look, we a different other, other look. It looks like another diff different railroad. The other one is this Western Line Pacific livery. The other is the New York Central livery. The Treaser Central livery example. Yeah, pinned up to be an Amtrak train, but this is what it originally looked like. It, it didn't look like, it didn't look pristine like the model I'm showing you right now, but it looked good until I came along and yeah, cat culture got broken off thanks to a uh, family family and friend member uh, baby a coupler got lost. And it's back a couple of broken. But you lay it on uh, maybe paint this and try to fix it. Anyway. And also there's a and also the last delivery is the Pacific Express delivery. Which is a a Union Pacific delivery. Anyway, I kind of like these because uh, they're an F7 and they look so like but detailed at the same time. And at first, I was wondering why do they have this type of coupling? Coupler, even though Shiny Fat never made rolling stock for these toys. Well, you'll see. No, right, this, no, right, it has a, this engine, this engine got a session pullback model thing, and that's the reason why. Hey, speaking of this engine, here's the next one that you have noted, the Freight Loco line. Now these are... Crunched up versions of SD40s, you can tell by the top and also the trucks. Now this one used to be a northern southern, it used to be in a northern southern, which 
North Grand version of Santa Fe. But then, I like, but then, like, 6 year old, 11 uh, year old me was like, this must be Santa Fe. So, I made it Santa Fe. But, getting my silver sharpie and covering up the northern, southern, on the side and writing horribly Santa Fe. But, the Santa Fe emblem on the front, not bad. If I'm being honest myself, I also, I also colored the tank. Anyway, these came in exact like the same packaging as the classic filters, but with this, yeah, the crunched up SD40. One is in a. CX Accelerate, which has New York and Illinois. I think that's Illinois. The other one is in the Pacific Power, Power Pacific, movie, which is Union Pacific. It has red lights for some reason. And why couldn't they like put Pacific Express since last time with the Classic Loco? They they had a Pacific Express here. Yeah. And they also have Express. Which is supposed to be an Norfolk Southern livery, but really look like a black locomotive with Express on it. I think Northern Southern and CXX and New York and Illinois are supposed to be like references to where both railroads operate. Like, the Santa Fe maybe operate. Like the Santa Fe operates near the north and south, and uh, CXX working in uh, New York, near New York and Illinois. But then again, that's just what I think. I don't. I actually don't know where both railroads near and operate. Alright, let's just move on to the next engine. Well, I put, yeah, this engine does have a good motor, just that. I took out one of the tire tires on this engine and put them in, get into this engine. That way, it at least. Yeah, it has enough. Next engine is the toys. This is fun stuff. This is the fun stuff. Uh, four four zero. Oh. This came in a red livery, a blue livery, and a black livery. I actually own all liveries, but over time, well, I own one of them at like once. Like on one time, I'm trying to explain this better, but I don't know, like each and every one of them, like once and every different like time. But they're always like break easily, but they break over time and turn into this. I turn it into a scrap engine with the uh, silver streaks. These be like paint chips. And like black markings. So behind me, this motor still works. Not thinking about it, I may use this as a, this motor as a spare. But then again, this motor still works. I don't, anyway, this engine used to have like black wheels and that. But I painted it up to be black and also gave it a red, a yellow stripe and... Now I covered it up with red. I kind of like crap. But then again, I will go with it with dinner. And hopefully, 
And hopefully with the Chinese factory that these came from, I was in a joke. That was a joke before the whole floor like attacked me. Hopefully they drenched them in varnish that and hopefully the and hopefully the, the center will only take off that hand the hand pan them stuff that I put on these and keep the original stuff that around the engine on it. And yeah. I need a better way to explain things anyway. These engines were owned by different companies. This version from T Fun Stuff had a blue predecessor and a black uh, have a black model and a blue model. Another one from Teamsters has a tender and had a red, blue, and green livery. And another one, it was owned by another company, but it has like a, a Russian flag on it and some other stuff. But either way, it's still a good model. And now to the last pullback model I actually have. The last model. Is this a to Toy Smith's Toy Smith 060? I don't know the actual basis of this engine, but this engine, this engine comes in different liveries and comes in different liveries. It had an orange livery, which you want to have right now, a red livery, a green livery, and a blue livery. I don't own all of the liveries now, but I don't know. Let's do the bell cars. Toy Smith. Dunning. Dunning. Then this video I put there, two models I saw. I'd like to marry me. The only guy I saw in the museum, I saw the, I saw two pullback models. One is this the classic steam locomotive. Classic steam, that would it come. And there were two versions of this toy. One with the tender and have the Pacific Railway livery and a New York Central livery. The other has the same locomotive, but without the tender and Christmas theme. Anyway, and to the other one, uh, I think it's called Power Steam. A model. But it's a mogul. But, anyhow. Thank you guys for watching and let me know if you actually own one of these models. Well, toys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and have another good day. We'll be there by morning. Through the Mississippi darkness rolling to the sea. Just a thing and good night.